In the previous video clip, we saw how to use the permutation number to count the number of ways that we can assign jobs to a group of people. Now let's modify this example a little bit. So now instead of assigning jobs to the individual people, we're just going to choose a committee and let them decide how to split up the work. And what we will see is that the number of choices for the committee that we will have will be smaller. Okay, so to see this, let's suppose that we select A, B, and C. Okay, that's one selection of a committee. But within this uh, selection, there are six different ways that those individuals could split up the work. Okay, you could have A being the director, B being the music person, and C being the business manager, or A being the director, C being the um, music director, and B being the business manager, and so on. And there are six different ways that they can split up this work. And so that means basically that there are only one-sixth as many committees as we had choices uh, in the previous example. And in general, uh, if the order within the selection is not important, then the number of choices in PNR will be reduced by a factor of R factorial. And this kind of count comes up fairly often too, so we give it a, another special name, which is known as the combination. A combination is a selection of distinct objects if the order within the selection is not important. Okay, so if we're given n objects to choose from and we select r of them, then the uh, number of these choices, CNR, is the combination number. Okay, and what we've just seen is that CNR is directly related to PNR by dividing by R factorial. So CNR is equal to PNR divided by R factorial. Okay, and we can also use our calculators to find CNR, just as we did with PNR. Uh, for example, if we have a, uh, a five element set and we want to find the number of three element subsets, that's a combination number. C53. Okay, so let's do that on the calculator now. And we're going to use this button here, CNR. So I'm going to enter my 5 first, and then CNR, NCR on the, this calculator, and then 3, and then press equals. And the answer is 10. That means C53 is equal to 10.